Good morning. It is Monday. We are up, not so bright and early. We were supposed to wake up at seven, but it's nine. We are on our way to pick up my best friend, Katrina. You guys have seen her a couple of times, but she doesn't really like to be on camera too much. But um, we're gonna go pick her up in the Bronx and then we're heading upstate. So yeah, we went, we're in an enterprise car. We rented this car. So if it looks a little different, it is. We were gonna get a Prius, they were gonna give us a Prius, but they gave us, what is this, a Chevrolet? It's a Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Malibu, Chevrolet Malibu. Oh yeah, Malibu. So it's pretty cute. We got our, our things, we need to get all of our electronics, our chargers and our camera and thing and this and that. So by the time we left, it got really late. And it says it's really nice over there. We're going to Watkins State Park. It's upstate near Syracuse. And I think I think it's part of the Seven Lakes. I don't remember. Something like Something that. Something like that. It's four hours away. It's beautiful. Don't worry. It's beautiful. Don't worry about it. So we will take you guys along. I'm so excited. I feel very morning right now. <laughs> My face looks very morning. Did really quick makeup. I wore the L'Oreal Pro Matte and Fallible Foundation in shade 103. Been a little crazy with the highlights, so I can show up on camera. Um, for bronzer, I used the uh, Guerlain, Guerlain, no, did I? I don't know what I used. Oh, I used the Shivanshi freaking bronzer. I'm bugging out right now. I'm all over the place. And then my lips is the Kylie Lip Kit. So, I'm gonna have my little Nike hat on. My coat is dirty from all the makeup that I wear all the time. <sighs> Cake face problems. I gotta dry clean it because that's not cute. Usually my makeup doesn't really rub off though. Like if I hug Noe, like I don't get him full of makeup. That's like back in the that's like high school problems, I feel like. When I used to like hug a guy and it would be like bronzer on his white t-shirt. That's that no longer happens. We uh we got on that setting spray wave and that setting powder wave. But it still kind of comes off on my coat because sometimes I zip it all the way up if it's really, really cold and it just really rubs on me and I start sweating and uh, so yeah, we're on our way. We ate oatmeal for breakfast. We're about to crash. We cannot crash this car, even though we got the insurance. I ate um, brown sugar, maple brown sugar oatmeal with strawberries. The strawberries were kind of sour, and no, we just- Strawberry was good. I thought they were sour. They weren't as sweet as I like them. Yeah, you want them ripe? Yes, I want them ripe and righteous. And then- uh, That'd be too sweet. You had regular oatmeal, right? Yep. With regular oat oatmeal with strawberries old as fashioned. well. Old fashioned, you should old fashioned. The old fashioned oatmeal, that dry, cardboard tasting like paper oatmeal. Well, for the people out there that are trying to lose weight, if you, Which is if me. you want to do that, that is the That's best the way, way to do, do it. it. The one that I had was like the weight. It's it's like the Weight Watchers one, not Weight Watchers, but it's like the weight controlled oatmeal it's a little it has a little bit of sugar and stuff but it tastes good and you know it holds me over which is important and uh we are literally about to crash i am nervous what do you mean crash because you drive crazy who's driving crazy <laughs> that the truck is coming that in that truck was so close what do you mean? no it wasn't <laughs> you're get... exaggerating right now man. All right. come down all right, all right i'm down. gonna show you the bridge because it's really pretty the bridge is not pretty no you're ugly. This one of the ugliest in New York. You're ugliest person in New York. That's what we're doing. That's our morning. It's yeah, nine o'clock. Okay, you're gonna kill us for the view. It's okay. It doesn't even show on the camera. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. It doesn't even show. Oh, now you can see it. Okay. Zooms in. Thank you, baby. You're the best. We will see you guys in a few. I will vlog Katrina when she's in the car. All right, let's cool Noe right now, okay? When it comes to time, if it's 9.50 and someone says, hey, what time is it? Let's just say it's 9.56. Hey, what time is it? And I tell him like, oh, it's 10. And he looks at the time, he's like, no, it's 9.56. But you have to round up sometimes, especially if you're on your way out or something like, you need to know the time because you're, I don't know, in a rush or something. You just round up. You never round down and 
Nobody's There's... running down. It's just tell me the time. No, when you to... round down. When you're... I ask someone to tell me the time, I want the time exact. No. I don't want no estimation. I don't want no guesstimation. I want the exact time. If it's two minutes to ten, it's basically ten. Well, you don't know. Maybe I gotta be somewhere in five minutes. So it's not gonna be. No. Big the point deal. is, if it's real close, then you just round up. We're gonna get there at 918, but hey, with traffic and sometimes with this and that, you never know what happens. You never just say I'm gonna be there at 918, you just say I'm gonna be there at 930, okay? Okay, okay. Things happen, okay? okay? Things come up. Okay. You just have to say okay, woman. You okay. agree with them. Okay, okay. That's how you win. Whatever you say. That's how you win. Whatever I keep trying to say, say bye, but we don't say bye. All right, bye. We'll see you in a few minutes. Haven't seen her in a while in my vlogs and my videos. We got Starbucks. Look, she's addicted to, well, not, I wouldn't say addicted. Green tea, lemonade. Not sweet. Not sweetened. You ready to roll? Ready. Ready to drive 190 miles. Right. Yeah. Peace out. We'll see you on the road. I'm on the road again. Ladies pumping gas over here. <laughs> we are in the country. Yeah. Currently. 66 degrees. It's cold in here because we got the AC bumping, but you know. Yeah, no. It's my house over here, guys. <laughs> we are here in the 607. Rock you heard. <laughs> it's actually so nice out. It's like 69 degrees. Thank you, sir. Hello. Uh, three. Thank you. Problem, folks. Right here in one moment. So we're here at the Rooster Fish, and I'm having a beer. And this is a Firehouse Blondie. So that's what I'm having. And what are you having? What is it? Classy. Um, it is a at Water Vineyard. Oh no, we're ready to go. <laughs> we tasted this beer, which was the Cocoa Porter. Wasn't a fan. And this is the blondie. We got to taste them. So I like this. It tastes like um, Blue Moon slash Corona. It's kind of like an in between. It's very hoppy. And Noe has water. <laughs> like always. Alright. Bye. Alright. I got a pulled pork sandwich. It looks so good with regular fries. Cat got these shrimp. I mean, what is it? Fish tacos. Looks so good. And then you got a bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheddar, baby. Bacon cheddar with sweet potato fries. Alright, we're gonna dig in. I was gonna get chicken avocado. It was grilled chicken, but I decided to just live a little. You know what I mean? Splurge. Splurge a little. I splurge every day though. What else is there to do around here besides the park? <laughs> we got the wineries. <laughs> oh, nice. We, we were thinking about that too. I guess there's gonna be like 60 wineries around the lake. Beautiful <laughs> wineries. Now, are there. you big? Yes. 23. Oh, 23, 23. Babies. Now, how, much, how much time do you have in the area? We're leaving today. Just today. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. We can't hit all 51 wider. <laughs> no. <laughs> and buy some Red Cat, and it's Hector Horny Juice. And on the bottle, it says HHJ. Mm -hmm. And there's a cat in the hot tub. And it stands for Hector Horny Juice. Hazlitt's wider. Hazlitt's You are a party girl. Maybe you should go to Pompa's ass. Or Pompa's ass on this Pompa's side. ass? Pompa's ass? Whoa. That's not too far from here, actually. Oh Pompa's ass. It's just up the road That's so here. Funny. I'll show sure. you about it. I'm not giving you a line. <laughs> We've just had our Mardi Gras and there's bottles of downstairs. That is pretty They have a Mardi Gras here? Yep. We had it uh, a week ago. But it was just festivals, parties. Are you guys going to have one for St. Patrick's Day? Like a big festival? No, no. This Mardi Gras we put up put on every year and it's a lot of work you know we have uh, two bands playing oh, nice. we've got cajun food we had uh, 
fantastic silent auction. We had jugglers, magician, caricaturists, and people came in costumes, a lot of them, nice. and masks, and so. Yeah. That's fun. That sounds like fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. We don't have anything it, like that. A no. lot of work, and you know, we're all getting older here. No so. But this is during the evening. But oh. It starts at 6 o'clock, oh. and we close here at 5 o'clock. Oh, That's so cute. It's a pickle? It looks like a pickle. Oh, she would love this. I've never seen it, yeah. It's about eight to ten miles up on the east side of the lake. There's no trespassing. You see that? Absolutely no trespassing. You will be prosecuted for the fullest of the law. I'm right here. Where? Look, tumbleweed. Uh, listen, because, the, oh my God, tumbleweed, is it really? Check it, call Lil C's, tell that motherfucker to bring me some no, motherfucking weed no, from the hospital, no, man, fuck that. Notorious. Tell that reporter to go pick up 10,000 from Dez, go no, take about like 20 no, G's from Gino. No, tell that motherfucker, it's like when they call Central Park at nine, but everyone goes in anyway. Mm -hmm. But at least they have people driving around trying to get out. I mean, technically, you could just go right That's over what I'm here. Hearing. Katrina, we could, just, we could just get on here and go. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah. Very steep, Katrina. It's very No. There's no animals. We're gonna be on the New York News. We're gonna walk that. <gasps> Look at this little acorn rose. Uh, it's a baby. What's up, baby? What's up? That looks so gorgeous. This is like naked and afraid, you know what I'm saying? Except we're not naked. <laughs> they go naked in the woods? Yeah, in like the woods. I'm pretty sure they are. Just a little bit. I don't know. Head of a picture to the left, taken in the early 1900s. The photograph shows three steel towers. Be careful. Be careful. No, no, no. Be careful, please. You have to look. I love the ice. See all this ice? This is why it's off limits. Wow. It's actually really cold here. This is gorgeous. And very dangerous. Ice is melting. No, it's algae. This is just straight up ice right here. Okay. 
Maybe we'll get to that corner over there, and if it's still more ice, we'll go back. Yeah. Okay, here's a little scary. It's still a little icy here, you see? Is this safe enough for me? <laughs> it's really not bad. We should have came in from the same stuff. Not to go in. No, come on. Baby, that's all ice. It's dangerous, come on. We can take pictures right here from- Come yeah, a little bit out. Baby, 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 baby. Aquí está bien, coño. Got as far as we could because of the ice but i imagine that this place would be so gorgeous when it's summer and when you're actually allowed to be here but it was fun wow look at that Woo -hoo. zam girl can't take him anywhere Tour guide over here. Say something, tour guide. There's a bird over there. It's a bird over there. As you can see, there's no birds. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, my little pumpkin. Hey, beautiful. Hi. I'm scared. I know. It's okay. Baby, you have the better view because you're tall. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Those are beautiful. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and it is currently 3.25. I always feel the need to tell you guys what time it is and what temperature it is. 62 degrees, we're still in the rental. Um, we actually headed to Pennsylvania yesterday after we went upstate. So we were actually supposed to go to Pennsylvania today with this rental because we figured, you know, we would be tired after upstate, especially Noe because he was driving. But where we went upstate, Watkins, we had to actually pass part of Pennsylvania to go back to New York. So it was kind of a little bit of a detour, but it wasn't that much and Katrina was okay with it. So, so we headed back to Hazleton and Noe had to do a couple things there. We saw his mom, spent a little time with her and then we just uh, dropped off Katrina in the Bronx. Today we're just running a couple of errands. I always have errands to run. I always have something to do. It never fails, but you know, that's just my life, the life of a blogger. And when I get home, actually in Best Buy, what I should do, I should look into the receipt reader, the receipt hog, I think it's called, because when I was gonna come back home, I was going to organize all of my receipts, like paper clip them and do all of that, but I don't know if I'm ready to just commit to buying it yet, 
but maybe I will. I would say buy it. That's a good investment, baby. It'd be kind of cool if it told you like the total amount that you spent. That'd be too much. That'd be too crazy, right? Yeah, they could do that. Of course. Right? If it takes a picture, yeah, it probably course. adds everything up. Yeah, you can. A while back, I seen the older one, and it just, it just takes all the it. information that's there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe even, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. If they don't have that, I shouldn't invent that for all YouTubers because when we go for taxes, which oh my god, I have to do that this week. Um, when I go for my taxes, I need to know like how much I spend and stuff like that. I had purchased this SD card. It's SanDisk, which I always use, but it's the Extreme Pro. You probably have to format it, but honestly, I have so many SD cards that there's no need for that one because I had purchased like two of those and then I have about five other SD cards at home. I mean, I'm a little bit of an extremist. Like, I don't want to just have three, which seems like a lot. I want to have like 10 because I know I lose things and I know that I misplace things and I'm always looking for SD cards and blah, blah, blah. So that one's not working with my with my camera. Neither cameras. Um, so I'm gonna go see what I could do at Best Buy about that. My lashes have really not been growing that much. Ever since I did the lash extensions, I basically have no eyelashes. So that kind of sucks. And I know like I can use coconut oil or castor oil or Vaseline every night, but I was actually thinking of using Latisse. An old coworker of mine when I was working at Apple hit me up about Latisse and I guess he prescribes Latisse. I don't know if he like quit Apple and I don't know what the story is, but I know he works at like a doctor's office and he can prescribe me Latisse, but he wanted to like check me out first to see if I'm good for Latisse or I don't know if I'm, I apply, I guess. Because I've heard that you can um, get like an eye, what? This guy here, um, driving like a grandma over here. Grandma Bruce. No, I, I, it, technically there, it is old people driving it. No offense to old people, but <laughs> they drive too slow. I can't wait. It's not old people, it's elderly people. Okay, elderly people. Um, you want to say something? I forgot. Uh, the prescription for the Oh, guy. yeah, thanks. Thank you, you're the best. Um, yeah, I want to see if I, if I apply because I heard it really helps your eyes, eyelashes and your eyebrows grow, which I really need my eyebrows to grow because I don't know what the heck happened, but they got real thin out of nowhere. Hey, but why don't, you, why don't you start taking biotin like you told me? Because biotin grows um, Because all I get really bad reaction to biotin. Mm. So I have to take vegetarian, like, um, based vitamins, which I actually, I'm going to be receiving these uh, hair vitamins, which are called Sugar Bear, and they have biotin in it, but it's it's uh, vegetarian, like, all natural, organic, kind of gummy bear biotin pills for your hair. But I heard that, you know, your eyebrows will grow, and actually, no, I read online on the FAQs, like, someone said, is this going to make the rest of my hair my body grow and it said something about it just being the, the head hair which I don't know how that could be but sugar bear hair also I have some other pills coming in so I sound like a pill popper I have some other pills coming in and they're um, like weight loss pills but they're basically just like to help you not retain as much water and they're gonna send me a, a corset like um, a waist trainer and then I have another waist trainer brand sending me one but I'm not gonna just promote them just to promote them like I want to try it out and see now I used to use waist trainers and I used to see results but they kind of get out of shape like they kind of bend out of shape so I um I want to see how sturdy these are because most waist trainers like if I work out with them especially they start bunching up and it looks horrible or some waist trainers I can't wear underneath clothes so I haven't worn a waist trainer in a really long time so I'm gonna test those out. They're two different brands and I'll, I'll let you guys know how they work. Um, also for back support, like when I'm doing makeup, I wanna wear the waist trainer because it helps you with your posture. So that's gonna help me out. We are gonna go probably, we were gonna go to the sauna today at Spa Castle, but I think we're gonna go tomorrow. Cause we have, we're, it's already 3.30 and we're heading to Long Island. And we wanna work out. We wanna take a little nap in between. So today is a little, it's a little far-fetched to go to the spa castle although if spa castle is 24 hours it just might be i don't know but i maybe we go tomorrow to the gym first and then go to the sauna right. not sauna then gym it's gym then sauna. i wish my gym just had a sauna or a steam room uh some some do in new york but a lot of them don't unfortunately my gym does have a tanning bed so i'm gonna find out how much it is there although i really shouldn't be tanning it's really not good for your skin but it's like 
do you want to pay for a tan and have all your foundations work and all your bronzers and stuff? Being tan for me makes me feel a lot better, but I could also use a lot of my stuff because I purchased a lot of my makeup when I was tan. But then it's like skin cancer, so you don't want to do that. So I had ordered the uh, Manic Panic White Dropper, drop that Kathleen talked about to lighten your foundation. So that should be coming in today. I ordered it on Amazon, so. We'll see, maybe that will just be my fix. Just lighten all of my foundations. But then it's like you can't lighten your bronzers, you just have to buy new bronzers. <laughs> and I feel like that is the biggest struggle, is bronzers for really light skin and really dark skin. Like sometimes I struggle when I'm doing clients with really, really dark, darker skin with bronzers because companies do not come out with bronzers that are dark enough and it's so frustrating like the ones that I have found that have worked are Blunt by MAC which is actually a blush but I could use it as a bronzer and um, what other one like maybe like a contour kit I could use that as a bronzer but I don't know do you guys feel that way bronzers are really tricky so what when you're light skin you can't wear bronzers well the thing is a lot of when you're really really fair bronzers are either too orange too red you're basically like so then don't wear bronzers when you're light skin that's it but you want to because it gives you Why? definition it gives your face definition so there's nothing else on, in the makeup world or no one has they have light anything. skin bronzers so then but them. they're hard to find how and then they, sometimes you buy a light bronzer and it's not the right tone for your skin like you can be well, fair listen, but pale like it's a daily struggle to find the bronzer it is a daily struggle skin. tell yeah. him tell him everyone yeah, tell him yeah your skin fluctuates in exactly, color all exactly. the time so what I would recommend to women everywhere in the world is stop looking for perfection. You're not going to find it. Look for what suits you best, I guess. Exactly, but just finding what suits you best sometimes is trial and error. Even you, you have a whole bunch of makeup and a lot of them worked on you, but now they don't. Yeah, because I got you fair. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. You can't, you, you, you guys can't go after that perfection. Usually I would have already gone to the tanning bed at least once or twice. I, w I never let myself get super, super, like I let myself get pale, but it's always like a, yeah, but think a about pinch the, of tan. Think about the benefits of not going to I know, a tanning that's bed. why skin, I haven't been tanning. It's a lot better, it's less, it's less dry. Well, it's skin that, cancer, not, all, yeah, wrinkles, that, no, of course. Cancer, of course. No, I know that, that's why I haven't been tanning. I, I've been tempted, but I haven't. Do you guys see him? That's a cool bike, baby. Is that a cool bike? No, that's not a cool bike. That's what a lazy is it? bike. That's a lazy He's person bike. He's chilling. He's sitting down. Not and what nothing. are you doing? I'm driving. Exactly. So he's at least using his legs. Okay. That is not a lazy man bike. He is using his legs. Stop playing. Not a real bike, bro. So anyway, the point is they have like liquid, you know, tanning. I have a bunch of tanning stuff, but they make me way too dark. Like the, the tanning stuff that I have is for when I was tan, trying to get tanner. Not pale, trying to get a little tan. So it's just like loving time gets you so dark and my skin is so dry that I have to do so much prep in order to get my tan to look good and it's just like, ugh, I'm too lazy for all that. So point of the story is I'm always on the hunt for a bronzer. Like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, I think it's called Brazilian Butter Bronzer. Kathleen likes that smell. I hate it. Like I, I do not like the smell of coconuts unless it's like an, a, real, a real coconut. Like I don't like artificial coconut smells it makes me so nauseous like that bronzer as soon as I open it I'm like Ugh. like I can't and so I just have to like hold my breath put the bronzer on and it's kind of light which she wears her bronzer light because she's fair skinned so I'm just used to wearing like bronzer and blush like I like to look orange and warm and colorful <laughs> but anyway so that's what we're doing we're heading to Long Island there's traffic we, we thought we were gonna beat the traffic but we didn't it's 3.30. You like to clean your room 20 times a day. I clean my room every single day. And this blush looks horrible. I'm about to the cops right now. Oh, it's the on. NYX ombre blush in a mauve. And I hate it. I just, I'm not liking it. I was trying things out to see how I feel about them. And I don't like the bronzer. I don't like the blush. And I don't like the face powder. So yeah. It's a little sunny. Um... All right, I'll see you guys maybe like at a store or something. I'll bring you guys along with us. Well, right now, I'm about to eat some noodles in uh, a noodle company. <laughs> I got two dishes that I want to try two different kinds of uh, flavors. Uh, macaroni and cheese, small portion, and the whole- You got the regular portion. Oh, I got the regular for both of them? Yeah. 
Well, then I'm gonna be a I'm all <laughs> gains, ass. right? I'm be a fat ass a day. Gains. Uh, got a bottle of some water. And what was the other one? Well, I guess we'll show them when and, they get it. Um, Tuscan. Oh, and garlic. Tuscan, Tuscan whole, whole grain. Pasta. 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 Nice, nice, Sounds nice. Pretty good. And I got a little sangria. Okay. I didn't know they sold sangria here. So I guess they have their spot. liquor license. Turn us by. They got one. Fine wine and wine. They have a little, this is so cute, like a little bar with wine. They have Chardonnay. They got everything. They got beers. It's pretty cool here. Like, at work, you need a drink? Just come to Noodle and Company. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. I'm just playing. It's cheesy garlic. This is so good. And this is Noe's Meals. Is it that one? And this is mine. Oh wait, you're right, that's mine. Sorry, this is not mine. This is his. Uh, like it? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I didn't bring the camera into the mall, um, but got some errands done. I was looking for the Adidas, the Superstar. They're like the black and white with the gold. But they didn't have them anywhere in a size four because I'm four and kids in those. Um, but I did buy some workout sneakers, so I'll probably show you guys when I get home. And I bought some stuff at Sephora, of course. And uh, we picked up Mom Dukes. Hey, just kind of, kind of see her a little bit there. <laughs> and this gigantic box next to her is it's a gift, a home warming gift for Susie, which um, is my cousin. Yeah, we're going to her place for the first time. She's been there like for a month. It's a little, you know, a little spot right there, a little quick little spot in Astoria. Nothing huge, you know, it's just like a studio because it's just her living there. So she's kind of making it homey right now. So we're bringing her a microwave, a toaster oven, right? A toaster. toaster oven, not a microwave, toaster oven. So she can start cooking. She doesn't have to eat out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're bringing her Panera, Panera for my mommy and for her. We already ate, so we're full. So that's it. We will see you when we get there. He's so cute. That's a dog, you see? That's a dog. We got Coco over here with his sweater that's way too big on him. He's definitely gonna pee all over it right now. I'm gonna have to just throw it out or clean it, wash it. And then we got Princess in her little dress. <laughs> I can't with you, Princess. I just can't. And his little sweater says, I love mom. Princess, you look so cute. Oh, he's pooping. Uh oh. You got bags? Yeah, we yes. do. <laughs> Look how cute this little baggie holder is. We're here at Petco. Coco's blind. <laughs> oh, no. I gotta take this sweater off. This gotta go. All right, hold on, Coco. Hold, please. They got treats. They got treats for Coco. Garbage. There has to be a garbage bag. Right here, look. Ooh, sweaters that may fit you better. Right there. Hi, little baby. He's sleepy. Oh, but it's not straining him. Look at it. Oh, and then there's even, something in there. No, if he pulls and he walks, it'll... I think it's that you can't pull. They have to walk right by you. Hi, baby. A, a, a body brace. One. Hi, buddy. You know, where you... There is no neck. My mommy wants a birdie. They walk so funny. They walk sideways. Mm hmm Oh, a month and a half ago, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've seen one just like that. Coco, don't be scared. Hey, hey, hey. Just gentle. Hi. He's so cute. Nice. Oh, oh, he's strong. I love him. Coco. Yeah. Okay. That's a puppy. It's a baby. I'll just hold him, maybe. Yeah. Good boy. He wants that doggy right there. Yes, I do. I'm gonna get it now. Coco! Come on! Come here! Come, Coco! Good boy! Not too far.
So I'm home, we went to Staples and we ran a couple errands. So I'm currently on the floor because I'm going to take all of the receipts that are in here. And also I have this one and I'm going to organize them all. And I'll show you guys. I purchased this organizer at Staples. And then I got a second option just in case I didn't like that one, which is this one. So I'll show you guys later like what it what it looks like but I also purchased these dry erase boards to do the couples one two three tag so I got one for me one for Noe and then what else did I get some white out some gold paper clips of course I love gold and that's it so then I just have my beautiful gold scissor and I'm gonna start Okay, so, so far I have it organized. Um, the front ones I already organized as you can see, but these in the back are just kind of loose. Um, so up at the front I have the most important, which is Sephora, then Ulta, then Drugstore, which include like Rite Aid, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, Walmart. Um, electronics are like Best Buy and Staples and B&H. Department store are like Nordstrom, um, Saks, Bloomingdale's. We got food, which includes Starbucks. Um, post office, don't mind my janky cutting, um, are all the packages that I send out. Shoes, um, back there we have Home, which is like Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, what else? Bed Bath & Beyond, Michaels, and things like that. Sport is all of my gym wear, like gym clothes and uh, then we have clothes then we have miscellaneous which is like tolls gas things like that so that's pretty much how I have it organized right now and these are just um, in store receipts here in the front the Sephora ones have these big ones because these are the most recent purchases and I have some Mac and stuff in there in the Sephora one because I don't really buy much at Mac Especially not in store. I buy a lot of my Mac online. So this is the one for all of my in-store purchases. And then this one is for my online purchases. So again, Sephora is at the front because I spend the most at Sephora. Then I have all of these which are kind of like random makeup. Like Macy's makeup, Glam Glow, Shuamora, LC, Laura Geller. Uh, electronics again like Best Buy when I order online. Clothing. Then here I have like Amazon Holt Look and Miscellaneous. So this is my online. These two have receipts attached to them because I ordered something online but I exchanged it in store for a different color or something. So that's why those regular receipts are there. I'm very happy that I'm organized now. Just editing the vlog that you are watching right now. It's like 11 o'clock and we'll probably go to the gym. But um, I didn't show you guys what I got at Sephora. But I'll probably show you that in my next vlog because this one's already long. So good night and I will see you in the next one.